and I have a variety of bowls. Um, I have some four inch bowls and some six inch round. Um, I mean, they do have a flat bottom, but glass bubble bowls. Now you wanna make sure that your glass bowls are very clean. And um, in addition to washing them, I'm going to take them and put a little um, alcohol on a cotton ball and wipe them down really well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hold it from the edge and I'm going to take a gray Crayola crayon and I am going to draw right on my bowl some lines. And I'm just gonna go and draw a curved line all the way around. This is not exact, doesn't have to be exact. And when you've gone all the way around your bowl with these vertical lines, the next thing you're gonna do is start making some horizontal ones. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is do them at an angle down across. You don't want to forget the bottom. So when you've done all the sides, you're gonna go down here on the bottom and you're gonna mark it up also. So now your jar should be looking something like this and you can see the um, crayon um, marks all over your jar. The next step is you wanna take some silver glitter glue and I put a um, pretty big blob of it out here on this um, paper plate. And now what I'm gonna do is put a lot on a small paintbrush and I'm going to paint my jar with the glitter glue in a crosshatch pattern. When it's dry, you're going to have a bowl that looks like this. It's kind of got that crackled glass finish. I'm going to be using these outdoors, so you definitely have to use some kind of a sealer, and I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum Gloss Clear. You wanna make sure you're using something that's clear and that will not yellow your bowl. Um, and then I will turn it over and do the underside. The next thing I'm gonna do is take um, some fairy lights and put them right down inside of my jar. And then I'm going to take it and put it in my garden. Isn't that pretty? So I am going to get these all dried, sealed, so that they, um, the water, rain outside won't bother them. And then I'm gonna add them to my garden. And I'll, sh for me, I'm going to, I don't have much of a garden right now. I have some pots, so I am going to add them to the pots on my porch by my door. Make some of these glowing garden orbs for yourself and enjoy them all summer long. They'll bring magic to your garden or even just to the pots of flowers that you have by your front door, like I have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Home Talk.